From VOA Learning English, this is the Health and Lifestyle Report. Having success and being able to meet one's goals requires knowledge, a sense of direction, hard work, and resources. Some people might add to that list luck, connections, and perhaps a strong belief in yourself. We accomplish our goals one step at a time, doing a little each day. So using your day effectively is important. On many websites, from Forbes Magazine and Fast Company to health and physical fitness sites, productivity experts share advice on how to achieve your career and life goals. Most of the experts agree on one thing. Starting your day on the right foot is most important. Collected from these websites, here are five ideas on how to start your day off right. Number one, get up an hour early. People who get up early in the morning have a jump on the day. For starters, they're awake. And some studies show that our willpower and attention span are strongest in the morning. In fact, the morning may be the most productive part of your day. In American English, we like to say, the early bird gets the worm. Here, if you're a bird, the worm is the reward. So, this expression means that people who rise up early have a head start and therefore are more likely to succeed. Inventor, philosopher, and writer Benjamin Franklin would probably agree. Americans like to use Franklin's memorable expressions. One of them is early to bed, early to rise. Makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Of course, there are exceptions. People who are night owls do their best work and their best thinking at night. Number two, drink a glass of water with lemon juice. While your coffee is being prepared, or while you are waiting for your tea water to heat up, Drink a glass of water with lemon juice. Why? Health experts say that drinking a combination of lemon juice and water first thing in the morning jump starts the body's metabolism. Not only does it jump start your body's cells, but this kind of drink keeps them moving throughout the day. Number three, don't answer email or jump into social media as soon as you get up. Your coffee or tea is ready, so you decide to look at your email quickly or open up your Facebook account. Well, don't. This is a great way to forget about the day ahead. We've all done it. You see a Facebook post from a friend you haven't seen in a long time. He is angry about some political issue, and the heated discussion pulls you in. Before you know it, an hour has passed. You're angry with lawmakers, and it's not even nine in the morning yet. You hurry out the door so as not to be late for work. This is not the best way to start your day. Number four, exercise. Some people may disagree with this one. Exercising in the morning may not be for everyone. Some people like to exercise after work or at night. Physical fitness experts and trainers. Often suggest some form of exercise in the morning, because the middle of the day 
is a busy time for most people. By the day's end, you may not have the time or energy to exercise. How many times have you finished work and said to yourself, "I'm too tired to exercise. I'll do it tomorrow." Exercising in the morning prevents that from happening. Number five, think about your day, at night. Meditate, visualize, whatever you call it. Take time at the end of the day to think back on all the things that have happened. Give thanks if you want, and spend a little time to think about tomorrow. Some people who talk about living in the present may criticize this. But it may help you to prepare if you take a few minutes to think about what you need to do the next day. Also, know that your day will probably change. You probably won't have time to do everything you planned, but that's fine. If you did one thing, that means you are one step closer in reaching one of your goals. And if you follow this advice, at least you've already gotten your exercise out of the way. And that's the health and lifestyle report. I'm Anna Mateo. Which of these tips do you agree with? Which ones do you disagree with? Do you have other tips or advice on making the most of your day? Let us know in the comments section.